Hello and welcome to the behind the scenes of No More Blacksmiths. Now, No More Blacksmiths was originally created to be part of the contest What If No Blacksmiths put on by the LEGO Ideas website. The film was unfortunately rejected for, I have no idea what reason, they, they said that it was because it did not fulfill the prompt, although I have seen other films that got accepted with very similar storylines to what I ended up going with, and I'm honestly, I feel like it might just be because it's not a traditional brick film. There were legitimate reasons that I, I thought they might reject my submission, such as the music, there might have been some confusion of whether I actually had uh, the rights to the music that I was using, and different things like that, but I did not did not anticipate that they would come back to me and say that it was rejected because it didn't fulfill the prompt, which is create a world without a blacksmith. Show what a world would be like without the blacksmith. And I thought I did that pretty well. But I still wanted to share it with you guys, though. So. If you have not yet seen No More Blacksmiths, there is a link down in the description below. You can go check that out and then uh, come back and watch watch the behind the scenes, which is this video. All right. No more blacksmiths. First off, all my films, you know, starts off with an idea. And the idea behind this was the contest prompt. What if no blacksmiths? And I was tossing around a bunch of different stuff, but I was also watching WandaVision, and I thought, what if that great line the Wanda Maximoff says in some of the comics, no more mutants. What if you had someone says, no more blacksmiths, and then, poof, the, the existence of the blacksmith, and then the evidence of everything that he has done disappears. And so I decided to run with this. I wrote a short script. It was not even a page long. The, the contest had this at a 30 second video. I couldn't go more than that. So wrote a short half page script. I did I think like two pages of storyboards just to know what I was doing. And then I got to work building the set. Now my problem with brick filming right now and and with m Lego in general is that most of my Lego collection is in storage right now unfortunately I don't have access to it I have three boxes and so my bricks are very limited and what I'm able to to do with them I built a majority of this set but also knew I'd probably want to utilize green screen to kind of complete um, complete the look and so I, I built uh, this small set, I designed the characters, and uh, got everything ready. And then I set it up uh, to start filming. All in all, this process probably took me took me about two days writing the script and building the sets and the characters and all that. Uh, and then I filmed everything in one day. And I edited it that day as well. I filmed and edited it all in one day. So then, yeah, I, I set everything up and I began to film. Now, I've not actually done or experimented a lot with green screen before, so I knew I was stretching my technical ability with this. I looked up some tutorials and stuff. The thing is, I've also never done anything since I've switched over to be using DaVinci Resolve as my main editor uh, instead of Premiere, which is what I used to use. I hadn't done any green screen work, so I knew I was going to have to figure this out, uh, stretch my technical abilities here, and that's what I did. So, the first thing I did was figure out which shots with my storyboard that I had could be filmed back to back to make sure there was as little movement of set. And there ended up being three setups that I had. The one that was focused on the sorceress, the one that was focused on the guard, which was just green screen uh, and a, a few practical elements, but mainly just screen screen, and then the wide shot, which was a combination of both green screen and a practical set. I went through, I animated the shots, uh, got them all in, and I started editing this thing, and I didn't realize how tricky green screen was going to be, especially with Lego, because the yellow of the, the skin tone in Lego for some reason is very similar to the green, I kept getting confused. I could green screen it, but it would leave a large green border 
uh, essentially around the character. Or it would take out the, the face. And what I had to end up doing was green screen one clip of it, or have a duplicate clip on top where I pulled the, the yellow, because I can mask out a color in Adventure Resolve, and so I was able to mask out the yellow color of the face, and that ended up working okay. I was scared for a little while that it wasn't going to work and that I was going to have to go back rebuild s sets for the shots I use green screen. But I kept fiddling around with it and I eventually, I think I got it to look pretty, pretty good, uh, all things considered. Uh, I, w I was happy with how that turned out. Now, the, con the entry that I had into the contest itself was shorter than what I've put up on my channel, the than the video I've released to you guys, and it was not only was it shorter, it had an alternate ending where the guard says, "Oh, bricks, uh, instead of the way that I currently have it ending. I mean, it's a Lego contest, and I wanted to keep it clean for, for the Lego contest. That's another thing that I thought possibly uh, they might not like. I don't know why they they rejected it. It seemed like a really odd, it doesn't fit the, the theme of No Blacksmith. Then uh, it got on to sound design and music design, which was pretty easy. I, I tried to search and find those popping sounds and I searched around for a little while and I couldn't find anything so I ended up actually just recording that myself and I recorded all the lines. Uh, I actually huddled up under a blanket with my microphone uh, to, to cut off the, the sound bouncing around and I recorded those lines. That was uh, essentially, that, that was it once that sound design was done and the music design was done. It's a bummer that this thing wasn't accepted. I wasn't expecting to win, but I did think it could have been nice to see how far I might have gotten with it. Oh well, it is what it is, and it's got me back into the LEGO Ideas site, looking around at some of these cool uh, sets that people are designing. It's really cool, really cool stuff on there. Overall, a good time, good time had here. I hope you enjoyed the film and uh, this a little behind the scenes look at what it took to make No More Blacksmiths. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. It super helps me out. Give, giving the video a like really, really helps me out, so I'd appreciate that. But yeah, thanks for watching, and as always, I love you awesome movie nerds. We're out. Chicka chicka!